This is the reality, guys, of being a chosen one. And if you're a chosen one, you already know. But I'm about to confirm it even deeper for you guys. And if you're not a chosen one, you're about to know. And you might not get it, but you're about to know. The devil knows who you are if you were a chosen one automatically there are people that are not chosen that the devil also knows but if you are a chosen one you have already dealt with the devil himself and that is just a fact and every chosen one will know this You're going to be tested on your path, on your journey, with whatever it is that you're doing. You're going to be tested. And it's nothing to take lightly. These tests are nothing to take lightly. The devil will do almost anything to stop you from greatness, to stop you from living out your potential. There's going to be so many hurtful things that's going to come your way. You're going to have to deal with so many situations that's going to try to take your soul. And you just can't let it happen. You have to be stronger than your circumstances at all times for whatever comes your way. You have to be stronger than it. And it is the devil. That's what it is. It will come whenever it wants to come. But you are you. You are chosen. You are with God at all times. He is protecting you. There's a reason why you have over the top confidence. There's a reason for that. It doesn't matter what kind of a day you have, you still have that take over the world type of confidence. And it's your happiness. The devil is going to try to rob you of your joy, of your blessings, of your happiness. He will try to get you down. He will try to get you discouraged. He will try to get you depressed, full of anxiety, full of this, full of that. He will try to get you filled with anything he can. And he will succeed in doing so at certain points of your life, but you have to defeat those things. You cannot let those things consume you. You have to be stronger than that. Straight up. You really got to do what's right. And you know what's crazy is I see a lot of things going on today, guys. With a lot of people. And I feel for people, man. I see a lot of things going on. I'm witnessing a whole bunch of young people coming up. And they're going to deal with a lot of devils and demons. And I, I know that for a fact. And the only way they're ever going to overcome to truly be who they're supposed to be is if they overcome those devils and demons. It's the only way. Because if you let life discourage you, if you let life get you down, if you don't live out your potential, no matter how hard it is, you're never going to feel perfect. That's the difference between chosen ones. That's the difference between true leaders and sheep. Because you can have talented sheep. You see things in these people, it's like, damn, like they're, they, they got it. Just like you, they got it. They got it. If they want it, it that bad as you do, they could get it. <clears throat> but most of these people, they're not going to get it. Because they don't want to go through all the pain and suffering and sacrifices that you went through. And that's a fact. That's the devastating part for them because they sold out. They gave in. 
I don't know if they necessarily sold out, but they gave in. They did not live up to what they should have. And it's never over. You can live up to who you're supposed to be. But you, you, you need that ultimate power in yourself. You need God with you at all times. There's a lot of things you need to skip in life of what the casual person is doing. You cannot be doing that. They're not with God. Understand that. They're not. They're actually with the devil. There's a lot of young people in university, colleges, things like this right now. They're partying all the time. They're doing all these reckless things. They're not with God. Not one of them are. They are with the devil. They are doing devilish things. They all have negative spirits. You cannot be a part of that. I am blessed that I was never a part of that. Temporarily, I was a little bit involved with that in high school. I feel blessed to the fact that I didn't continue that behavior. I didn't continue those patterns after high school when it really matters. I didn't have that college or university experience that literally takes people's souls for the rest of their life and they can never recover because they, they took so much damage in, in that time. There's so many girls that I used to know with so much potential that when they when they did that, they were they were good for about the first year. And they fell off. Like, I think these people get to a certain point where life hits them too hard. They don't put in the work. They sell themselves short. They let themselves go. And it's a disaster from there. They didn't go through the motions of life the way they were supposed to. And that's the devastating part because you lose yourself at that point. It's like you let yourself go. It's like your, your actual soul and yourself is like gone. And it's like you're in the human flesh, but you're going somewhere else doing something else. And you know, you have to do an insane amount of work to get that part of yourself back. It's almost like you have to find yourself all over again in life. And unfortunately, these people never do. That's why I am warning you guys right now, as a chosen one, you cannot take that path. You will get lost. You will get ran through. All the devil's going to be all up inside your guts. Whether you want to think that's funny, whether you want to think it's anything, it is the truth. And you'll never be the same again, I don't care what you say. You will never be the same ever again. You have to be with God. If you're with God, you got everything. And if you're with God and you, and you were with him for a while and you feel like you don't have everything, best believe everything is right around the corner. Best believe everything is right around the corner. But you must live a righteous life. You must live a life by God. And do godly things, do good things. Do one good thing. Like, like let's just think about this for a second. When's the last time you've done something for somebody else that was good out of the kindness of your heart? I'll give you guys an example right now. I was actually going to post this on my Instagram to let everybody know today on Sunday. Out of the kindness of your heart, do something good for somebody today without asking anything in return. Just do it. Just take the time out of your day. It could be a couple minutes. It could be five minutes. It could be 10. It could be 15. It could be a half an hour. It could be an hour. Who knows how long? But as long as you're doing something out of the kindness of your heart for somebody else, when's the last time you've done that? And like I said, I'm going to give you guys an example right here today. Last night, we had a massive snowstorm. A lot of snow fell. It took like hours to shovel the driveway. 
and in the driveway that I'm in, there's four different vehicles. I shovel my car all the way out. I shovel my entire deck because in the spot that I live, I open my door to leave and I have my own patio. So the patio was completely filled with snow. I had to shovel that completely off first, shovel my way down the stairs, shovel at the bottom of the stairs all the way to my car, and then shovel out my car all the way around. And today, I shoveled somebody else that lives in the same apartment building as I do. I shoveled their vehicle out. Out of the kindness of my heart, I didn't have to do it. They could have came out and shoveled it, but I did it for them. So when they came out, it was already done. It's things like this. When's the last time you've actually done something just like that? And that's just an example. It could be anything. Um, you could be in a drive through and you could order something, you could, you could be paying for your stuff and you could say, listen, I'm gonna pay for the person's stuff that's behind me. It, it's things like this, you could pay for somebody's gas, whatever it is. <clears throat> I really think, like there's something about it that just makes life better. I kid you not, it will actually like, it's accomplishing, it's rewarding, it's fulfilling and taking care of other people in this world. It's not like you, you gotta do it every second of every day because that's just, that's a little too much, but because you gotta take care of yourself too and how can you do that by focusing on everybody else? Just every now and then in the blue moon, you should do something in the kindness of your heart for somebody. Never forget that. That's just something I'm gonna throw out there right now. And there's just too much selfish stuff going on today in this world. And it's a breath of fresh air to have somebody like that. You know what I mean? So, <clears throat> that's one thing. And uh, I personally do not know what any of you guys are going through. Some of you I do. Some of you I talk to on the phone. But there's a lot of people going through a lot of stuff right now. And I'm just saying, I know what that's like. I know what it's like to be losing your damn mind. You, like, in your head, you have all the talent in the world, the skill. You, you literally have every tool to become successful. There's nothing anybody else in this world that is on the top that has it over you. You have everything they have, plus probably more, and you're just wondering, like, how am I not there or doing better or this or that or that or this? you really got to be patient and understand your time is coming. You could just never forget that. You always have to have faith. Always. You always have to work hard. Stay focused, stay disciplined, stay humble. 100%. A lot of people like the mistaken cockiness for confidence. A lot of people because a lot of people just want to stick it to you. Oh, he or she just knows it all. Oh, this or that or that or this. It, it's, no. It's confidence. It's knowing certain things. Being a certain way. Some people just won't like you automatically because of that. Some people look at the, the term chosen ones as a bad thing. They just don't understand. Some people just want to look at everything with a negative outlook. And that's a problem. Like, these people don't believe in anything. They don't believe in themselves. They're hateful. They're full of hate. They just don't believe in anything. They don't believe themselves. They don't believe in you. They don't believe in anything. And that's why they are who they are. That's why they, they're, they're down on their luck. They lack self-belief. So whenever you have it, whenever you express yourself confidently, authentically, they get mad. They want to try to shame you and throw shade on you and do all these devilish things. It's just it's just another devil. That's what it is. So, there's just a lot of things, man, that you cannot let take you off your path. You can't. From me to you, I'm telling you right now, brothers and sisters, to keep your confidence. Know that better times are coming for the chosen ones. Only you know if you're chosen. 
I can't tell you that. But better times are coming. If you know that 100% of the time, even in your bad days, you're on the right path. Because a lot of people are so down. They never think competently. And that's, that's a disastrous mindset. On the worst day of my life, believe it or not, I had confidence. And that is the worst day of my life. I had confidence. There was never a moment where I'm like, oh my God, maybe I'm not cut out to, to, to live this life. Maybe I'm gonna settle for average. Maybe this, maybe that. Never, never. I'm way too passionate of a person. I'm way too competitive. I'm way too just, I don't even know what works to put on it. I'm just too consumed in life to ever think that way at all. Because if you start to think that way, you're going to attract that. Is that what you want? Then don't think that way. If you think that way, that's what you're going to get. If you never think that way at all, you're never going to attract that. You will attract the things you, you really deep down think you deserve in life. And you will get that. So for me to you, that's what you got to know. And for me to you, and I'll end it with this, you will be tested. You will be tested. The devil himself will test you in many different ways. He will use people to test you. He'll send a Jezebel spirit after you to try to pussy whip you. He'll do anything he can. Because there was a lot of pretty females sent my way. And they were not from God. Looked real good on the outside. <clears throat> but they were not from God. So the heck with them. I can spot them out like nothing now. And it ain't nothing new to me. I remain who I am. You remain who you are. Don't let any of these tests phase you. Stay you, stay humble, stay chosen. Let's get the win.